Welcome back everyone, it's me Sunstar and you're gathering with me on another Sun's Day for another weekly tarot reading. But whenever you find this reading, it was meant for you, all right? Before we get into today's weekly reading, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Hey, it really means a lot and really helps. And if you love these weekly tarot readings, interact with the video. Drop a comment. Let me know what pile you're choosing. Let me know if this wisdom helps you at all during the week. Come back and let us know. Update us on what's going on in your world. We'd love to know. All right, y'all. We got a lot to do today. Okay, so we're talking Libra. It's Libra season. Hello. Got here out of nowhere. Bam, hit me like a ton of bricks. Actually, it's been really nice and calming so far in Libra season. So we're going to talk about Libra season. We're going to talk about new moon. We're going to talk about what we're gonna do with this magical bundle, and then we're gonna read some tarot. So I'm super excited for all of that. Won't you join me as we go ahead and light our sacred candle to set our sacred space. Over here on Sunstar Space in our weekly tarot readings, we clear the energy where we are, where you are, where I am with fire. So as I strike this match, I call in our guides, the element of fire, the beans of our internal motivation, wisdom, and energy. May you join us here in this space. We call in our angels and our guides to clear the energetic waves so that we may understand what's going on. And we circle a candle around once, twice, and three times to clear our space here and where you are. And for good measure, let's go ahead and Clear the airways with an energetic vibration from this bell that we used last week in our weekly reading. Okay, y'all, how are you doing after last week's intense reading? Let me know, let me know. How are you doing in general with the seasonal change into the fall? Last time we talked about how seasonal transitional change can be rather difficult and it's still continuing. The sun is beaming here in the Pacific Northwest today. And it says, we're not done. We're not done. And all of us are like, please be done. Let the rain come. Finally refresh my soul. Allow me to go inward and get cozy and wear blankets at home and cozy fluffy socks and Uggs if you wear that kind of stuff, right? That's where I'm headed. So in honor of the fall being here, the new moon is here today, as well as Libra season, which I think started yesterday or the day before, something like that. Wow, it snuck up. So I wanted to do a little treat today. We are going to bring out our queer cosmos, Colin Bedell again, and we're going to talk Libra season. So cozy up with your drinks. I got my ube latte right here. Sorry, ube milk tea sans boba. I don't like the way boba tastes. I got some backup water in case I need it. And I got my cards and I got our Queer Cosmos book because we're going to do an oracle reading for Libra season after this. So let's get into it. All right. So Mr. Bedell, Colin, the best Queer Cosmos. If you're not following them on Instagram, get on it. So Libra, the justice, September 23rd through October 22nd. Okay. So it's been a couple days of Libra season. Welcome Libras. My mom's one. Y'all are intense. Okay. So it says... According to Queer Cosmos, the section ruled by Libra in the chart is the westernmost hemisphere on Earth. So it's where the sun sets. Libra is a cardinal sign, so it does hold a theme of initiation. But the sunset symbolism of an ending is still accurate. You know, there's symbol. I guess that's a sunset I never knew. The moment the sun enters Libra is the most is the moment when personal development and isolation ends and transformation through relationship experiences begins. <sighs> okay, Colin. Uh, they continue. Libra invites us to experience love and mutuality with one another, which makes astrological sense when looking at Libra's symbol of the balanced scales, symbolizing equality. Okay, it says the sun in Libra marks the halfway point in the astrological calendar. You learn something new. I don't know if I really realized that. Beginning on the autumnal equinox, which is the astronomical moment of equal daylight and nighttime. Duh, equal scal uh, scales balanced. The theoretical idea is that signs from Aries to Virgo help the Zodiac understand action, values, mindfulness, emotionality, worthiness, and service on a personal level. Then Libra teaches us how to love one another. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, call in. Libra is ruled by Venus. Okay, charm and elegance, grace to disarm, even the most defended among us. Mm, mm. Libra shows us we don't need armor whenever they are with us, since they truly come in peace and ask the same of us in return. Okay, Libra season. Who is ready for some peace? I'm ready for some peace. Lord help me. God has helped me. I definitely need some peace. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm... Cards are jumping out. I'm ready for Libra season. What about you? Drop in the comments if you're a Libra, if you love Libras, if you're into Libra season. Oh, Libra season is bringing a pause to us. Don't mind the messiness on the card. Spilled something on it. Pause. Okay, so our first Oracle card is pause. All right, y'all, let's tap in. Libra season energy with the pause in mind. Let's shuffle these gorgeous passages, Oracle cards from Liliana Perez. And let's pull some wisdom for Libra season. And we're going to pull an additional new moon wisdom in there. New moon Libra. Here we go. Okay. Lay out the cards. Okay. This one. Mm, 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 mm. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Here. Okay. Ooh, y'all. We got some juicy cords. We got some juicy cords. Okay, 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 okay. So we pulled pause. Well, pause jumped out at us. Libra season. We're going to pause this season. It's all about understanding cycles, where we're at in the cycle. Why are we here? What we just learned about Libra is that this is the zodiacal, love that word, turning point where we go from working in internally, Aries to Virgo, our own selves. We get to Leah, uh, Libra and we say... Let's connect. Let's interact with others. Where are we at in cycles? It's important to know where we are at in our cycles when we come and connect with others so that we don't take on their BS that they're doing through through their cycles, okay? We are all on our own journey. We need to understand that it's about our dreams and our dreams are playing a really big important part this Libra season, our dreams and connecting with others, our dreams that we have worked for months to cultivate within that maybe we're bringing out for others to see finally and we're getting some direction, we're getting some direction this Libra season, okay? Woo! Oh, I love this. Okay, so we see cycles, dreams, and direction. Understanding the cycles we're in, following them through, loving all parts of the cycle up and down, trusting the process leads us to the dreams that we may not have ever known were possible if we don't follow through with the cycle. We have to follow through with whatever cycles we're in right now. I'm telling you, Libra season for us is about following through with those cycles and understanding how the dreams are going to come from those cycles. They're going to provide the direction we've been looking for. Understand that in Libra season, we're going to walk out into what's next? Sagittarius. No, not Sagittarius. Scorpio, I think. We're going to be walking into Scorpio next with direction, which is going to be really good during that emotional, intense, high energy water season, water sign. So... Here we go, Libra season. What do you think about all of that couched under the pause? Pausing to understand what cycles we're in, to understand how the dreams come from those cycles and the directions that those dreams lead us in. Whew. Let me know what you think of that oracular wisdom and reading for Libra season. All right, y'all. So new moon is here. Mm, I don't know if you remember this. Go back a couple videos. It's been a month now since we made this dream bundle last new moon with our roses, rosemary, lavender, and citrine. So I'm going to burn this tonight under the dark sky and I'll film that and I'll post that up here probably tomorrow, the next day, something like that. Um, talking about new moon and releasing and setting and letting go. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. It might be a short, it might be an actual video. I'm not really sure, but I will be burning all of our intentions that we put in here that we caged in this beautiful, these beautiful herbs and stone and really let the vibration set into them so that they can really hold our vision and manifest over this last full new moon, new moon to new moon cycle. So we're going to release those today into the universe to really, really take action and transform. And we'll see what magic comes from that burning tonight. I love seeing magic through and it's really important that we understand the closing the loops in our spell work. And so we'll be burning that tonight and I can't wait to close that loop for us tonight. So it's time for our weekly tarot reading, y'all. And we have three magical stickers from the fantastic Fine Tree Video Within, Sarah. You better drop the link for everybody to go buy your stickers if you don't have it already. You better get one, girl. These stickers are the cutest. So we have pile one, 
the pink ice cream. It's all about our internal resiliency. What are you doing this upcoming week to build from within so that you can come out in this world liberal season? Pile two is this gorgeous matcha green ice cream cone. And this green pile two ice cream cone, these tarot cards are really speaking to how do we need to cultivate the environment around us? People, places, things, thoughts, the environment around us sets the tones for how we live our world. That's pile two. Pile three, this gorgeous yellow mango ice cream. I'll just eat it up right now. It's all about shining our brilliance into the world. So how can you bring your shining brilliance and your own gifts, whatever it may be, out into the world around you to bless those around you? So drop it in the chat drop it in the comments one two three which one is for you okay pile one pile one we're gonna be starting with you pink ice cream cone strawberry ice cream cone i don't know dragon fruit ice cream cone whatever pink is for you um let's talk the decks real quick that we're using this week um we're using the pacific northwest tarot by brendan marnell love 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 this deck absolutely love the way the cards feel i'm using this little cute deck called the spell deck by kat cabral and my uh former co-worker got this for me and it's gonna be really interesting to use this one in a reading and as always we got our spirit cats deck for our oracle our oracle card as our in our pile so those are our three decks that we're using so let's get into pile one all right pile one your pacific northwest tarot card is ooh, ace of wands Ooh, look at this gorgeous flower i don't know what it, these are is that an iris I should have looked it up, but I don't know. But it's absolutely stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Y'all, so the pink ice cream, pile one. Ace of Wands. Your internal landscape is vibrant and beautiful. And to go along with that, let's do your 21 spells or what is it called? The spells deck. <laughs> the spells deck tarot card is Yamaya. Ooh, Ace of Wands and Yamaya. The goddess Yamaya working with her. Okay. And then our spirit kitty cat card is, look at this one, Seeker. Meet Spiral. He's always searching, reaching, seeking, and questioning. So pile one. Let's get into your wisdom. Ace of Wands says, there is a beautiful spark of joy coming up for you. So pile one, as you dive into your internal landscape this week, your creativity is flowing. Your motivation is flowing. Your energy levels are up this week. Focus on what draws your attention. What is that beacon that is calling you forward this week that says, I want to do that? Even if it's just one week, we need to work on setting goals weekly, daily, monthly, um, benchmarks to find, because uh, goals are here or there, you know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know goals. So what are we looking forward to the next week? What are we working towards? What do we see as our beacon, this flame, this ace of wands, this wand stands as a beacon calling us forward to an inspired idea. Passion is flowing for you. And Yamaya, the goddess Yamaya is an Orisha and the beloved mother of all fishes, magic and healing in the Western African Yoruba religious pantheon. Yamaya, look at the back of this card, stunning. So when I hear Yamaya and the Ace of Wands, I think about what healing work do you need to do internally to understand that what you pursue is worth your while? There, I said it. What healing work do you need to do internally that's worth pursuing because it's going to take you down your path. It's going to pull you forward. So things we've been avoiding, things we've been questioning, things we don't want to do probably are some work that we need to do. Okay. So it says, bring Yamaya seven pieces of cucumber or melon or seven white flowers and leave them at her shores. Perform this right on midsummer when the sun enters cancer or during the full moon. Well, we're in a new moon. So we're coming up on a full moon. So if you are pile one and working with the energy of water and water, water deities, specifically the entity of Yamaya now. I'm not all about appropriation, so we need to be careful about this. But as wisdom that's been calling and guiding you this week, leaving an offering for who she is as an entity to help integrate those ideas for you would be wonderful for you. Seven pieces of cucumber or melon or seven white flowers. Leave them at an edge of water for her this upcoming week, pile one, if you possibly can, to really understand that beacon that's calling you forward, that inspired idea, if you don't already know what it is. And then spiral. The little cutie says... Follow this kitty as you spiral inward and seek to understand yourself more fully. Are you kidding me? Pow one pink ice cream cone. It's all about the internal landscape for you. It's got to be vibrant. It's got to create joy in you. Otherwise, it's not worth it for you. 
peer deep into what you feel, what you believe and what you know. Ask what is hiding beneath this feeling. Where did this belief originate and where is it taking me? What are the treasures of meaning and understanding that I can distill from each experience, especially going in. Yamaya is the blessing, the cake on top of all this little cherry, okay? It says, leave this offering here so that this water goddess's deity can under or infuse your life with some joy and sweetness and deep healing so that you can follow your goals, desires, hopes, and dreams that are building within. <sighs> Pile one, I'm hot. Oh my God, I'm way hot. What did you think? Let me know, the energy is moving, let me know. Okay, pile two, some matcha ice cream for you. It's all about the environment that surrounds you this week, pile two. It is all about the environment that surrounds you. Let's check out our cards this week. Pa our Pacific Northwest Tarot card for pile two is Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, I love that consistency dedication. Our Spells Deck Oracle card is Spider Wisdom. Weaving a web of magic, the spider's wisdom lies in precision, patience, and storytelling. Ooh, and our spirit cat, kitty cat oracle is intuition. Meet ghost kitten. She is the light within us that helps to guide us through our life. Okay, okay, it's coming together, pal, too. It's coming together, it's coming together. Here we go. Eight of Pentacles speaks about the work that we do over and over again, the con consistent, fulfilling work that allows us to keep pursuing something. It speaks of mastery. It speaks of the fact that you do it, you have done this so much that it's literally what you do day in and day out and you're good at it and it's your bread and butter and you want to have oh, an environment that supports you in what you do, what you love, what you do every day, your environment needs to support and lift up. If not, get rid of it cut it out literally you do not need it we celebrate everything we do if you don't have people around you that are celebrating your consistency get rid of them if you don't have people around you that are celebrating the brilliance that you have created in your own world get rid of them if you don't have people that contribute to the brilliance of your environment around you get rid of them period Use that spider magic, that wisdom, that internal weaving, the connections that you have through your dedicated work. They, those connections are coming in through the work because the people who support your work and dedication and what you do day in and day out, the talents that you bring to the table, those who support that, spider magic have brought that together within you. Weave those webs. Keep them strong. If you see a spider in your home, do not destroy it. Agreed. Agreed. Instead, watch the spider method methodologically build silky, almost invisible threads and learn from their unique gives gifts. Draw a cobweb illustration on a piece of paper and write about a recent fear, mystery, or memory that has been haunting you. Place it hidden on your altar or in your book of shadows and do not look at it until another spider appears, whether in a few days or a year. At this time, reread the letter and see how your relationship with the situation has evolved. <sighs> Talk about dedication and consistency. Write yourself a note for the future. We don't know when that future moment will be, but here it is and use your intuition about that fear, about that worry, about something that's bothering you and plaguing you. Um, little ghost kit in your intuition is always beckoning you to enter your inner world, to dig deep and meet her there, your intuition. Play with what makes your intuition louder and clearer for you. Maybe it's meditation or sleeping more or taking an extra shower or being with people around you who love you. Experiment with following your intuition and notice what magic unfolds. Ooh, pal two, pal two. There's something magical about this. This work that you keep doing, this work that keeps coming back to you, this spider magic, you've built a network around you that supports you. And if not, your call is to do that because you're doing important work. And in order to be supported in that work, you need the environment around you to be supportive. There it is, pal two. There it is. What'd you think? Let me know. Okay, pile three, here we go with your mango ice cream. We're talking about our brilliance as we bring it out into the world, pile three. That's what you're all about. So here we go with our Pacific Northwest Tarot card. It is, ooh, six of cups, the mama octopus and the baby octopus and the eggs, the full life cycle right here in one moment. The six of cups speaks about the deep healing that has been done and how you are really happy and present and right now. 
understanding the past and the future, how they meet in the present moment right here. Six of Cups energy and our um, spells deck oracle card is... Paramour, a classic love spell to attract a mate. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then number, uh, number six. And then our um, kitty cat oracle, our spirit cat oracle deck is Courage. Alice, she is small but brave, jumping head first down the rabbit hole. Oh my gosh, are you about to fall in love, pile three? Are you falling in love with yourself and the work you're doing? Are you falling in love with someone else? Oh my God, I'm getting really hot thinking about it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Look at these beautiful cards. Look at all these gorgeous little baby angels. Okay, let's start off with the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is a deep healing card. It's a time to reflect on all the things that you've done. The mother octopus protects her babies till the day that they hatch. She gives up her life to allow them to hatch and she doesn't do it with regret. She doesn't do it saying, oh, I should have done something else. No, it's part of the process. It's part of the cycles of life that she stepped into when she hatched from a little egg. So you, you are talking about that deep healing, that positive momentum healing, that positive feelings that draw you forward because we're coming off the five of grief and sadness of releasing. And I'm pretty sure last week we had the five of cups somewhere, maybe even in pile three. This is crazy. So six of cups this week really, really speaks to recovered joy hope to be seen and had. We're coming around that corner of the five pile three. And it's time for you to find love, love for yourself or love for someone else. If you are looking for someone else, ooh, this is a candle spell. Let me just go ahead and read this for those in pile three who need it. Carve your name, a heart, and the symbol of Venus on a pink candle and place on one end of your altar. On the opposite end, a, sink, a second pink candle carved with the heart and the symbol of Venus. Rub both candles with any oils you prefer. Rose is uh, mentioned here. Write down what you desire in a mate and place it on the altar like the candles and visualize yourself in a thriving partnership. Oh my gosh, pile three. I didn't know we were coming through with the love energy and you got to take courage to fall in love, to find love, to take risks again. Whatever you're falling in love with again, whether it be a human or another human or uh, a new career path or being single or um, doing everything for your own for the first time ever, whatever it is, fall in love with doing that. I love this little spell. It doesn't have to just be for romantic relationships. You can choose a different color and still talk about what you're trying to manifest and put them on the other sides because you, it takes courage to do that work. Although the unknown may seem scary and fraught with danger, we should always hold faith in the beautiful possibilities and discoveries awaiting us. Oh my God, these little octopi are about to have a huge adventure. They can't even wait. True courage is listening to our intuition and moving in the direction of our heart's deepest yearning, even when we are afraid <coughs> and want to turn back to our comfortable, familiar world. Trust yourself enough to take that leap. And always remember, no matter where you land, the ride will be strange, magnificent, and oh, so worth it. Pile three, fall in love with everything that you're doing. Do that spell work whenever you need to fall in love with a change that is happening in your world. And remember, it's all about coming to terms with what has happened in the past and understanding that will, what will happen in the future is great and that was wonderful or bad whatever happened but right now you have a moment to blend all of the wisdom from the past and the hopes of the future right here oh my god and that takes courage Whew, pile three mm, i love that okay y'all it is hot these cards have been spicy what do y'all think of the readings pile one pile two pile three tell me in the chat Tell me in the comments, what are you thinking about this week's weekly wisdom and reading, y'all? This Libra season, season, oracle reading, pause, cycle, dreams, direction, so essential. Pile one, we are seeing the beacon ahead and we are going bravely toward that. Leave your offerings to Yamaya as she deepens the healing work you do. Pile two. You have been so consistent and dedicated and your community and environment needs to support your dedication to the work that you're doing right now. Let those talents shine by letting those around you support you in those talents. And pile three, six of cups, magic, the integration of healing and joy and understanding what our past was and will be in the future to the, in the current now moment, bringing all of those together, pile three. Oof.
Okay, let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what y'all thought in the comments, in the chat. How are y'all doing? Are you ready for Libra season? Are you ready for this new moon magic? Be on the lookout for either the short or a short little video that I'll put up about the burning of all of our intentions and wishes and hopes and dreams and desires being sent off into the new moon magic to manifest our next steps. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Y'all, you magical sun rays, you beautiful beams of sunlight. I love you. I'm sending you so much wisdom, joy, happiness, peace, sunshine of calm, sweet fire, not the raging fire of summer for this upcoming week ahead. If you enjoyed today's reading, whenever you catch sight of this, go ahead and leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. It really helps me out over here on this YouTube adventure. And we'll be seeing you in the next video. Okay, y'all? Have a fantastic week. Bye.